What is going on, you guys? My name is Rage, and we are back today with some more continuation of my global Dark Dimension 6 progress. So having said that, my part one is linked below if you guys want to check out my first three tax, but we are able to finally wrap things up there now for the first node of global. Let's get right to it. Yeah, team, team composition wise, um, when nothing's changed here, guys, but we know that from our previous first three attacks, we got to take down this combination of the Tangle Web in the right corner. So you see there, I go ahead, at least get the lucky stun actually on Noir, uh, thanks to Apocalypse's retaliation. And then I go ahead with the ability block on 2099. Um, not only does that heal our team up, but uh, just allows me to control those two on the far right, just because those are the two that we're going to be targeting. Keep in mind, um, you know, this is a very difficult uh, node in the sense that this Ultron's constantly providing buffs. So we want to take down his minions when we can, applying vulnerables uh, wherever possible. But um, yeah, this is this node is going to take a lot of patience just because my team is more defense driven with support. And with us having Baby Apocalypse, he's not getting his abilities off as uh, as uh, frequent as the big Apocalypse. But fortunately, with Nemesis, um, a lot of his abilities does scale HP. So really really good because he does um you know obviously share that heal blocking uh, regenerative capabilities with the team uh but as well uh we can actually take advantage of that in terms of uh, making sure we do some really meaningful damage as well so these these um P uh, kingpin uh, uh minions are quite annoying in the sense that when they're summoned you have to get them out of the way so timing the apocalypse ultimate is very important right so now we finally i see a good opportunity here all the buffs are activated so we use all apocalypse's ultimate to flip all the buffs and again, um, each with each attack um, through for these nodes, uh, it's always about making a game plan and targets, right? Making sure you have certain targets or progression points, that, milestones that you want to get through. For me, it's taking down one or two enemies each attempt, and that way we're slowly making progress until uh, we get to a point where we can kind of start um, snowballing with the number of um, enemies uh, being reduced. But as you can see, Apocalypse is ultimately landing, which is great for us. Uh, 2099 is down, but we know Noir is still an issue, so we have to wait for him to, you know, come out of his stealth. But I mean, this is really good because we've took out uh, a damage dealer, and again, you kind of want to have that mentality focusing on damage dealers, so that way every time we are taking down enemies that can take us down, and then making some really meaningful progress. So now I'm going ahead here and just focusing on uh, Noir because I know how much damage he can do, and as you can see, um, when you know, you can see here, the game plan is going as planned because Apocalypse actually gets taken down right away. So I know right away, okay, uh, that's probably going to be a wrap then. We did a good attempt, but we're going to focus at least on taking down uh, Noir as much as we can. But with Apocalypse down, it just means that there's a good chance with the reset. And um, this is as far as I could get it with this attack just because uh, he's, you can already see just the compounding of Ultron's minions with uh, uh, Kingpin just makes it really, really difficult to get through. Uh, and you also have the damage dealers like uh, Titania and uh, Moonstone doing work on us, right? So at this point, uh, at least we took down uh, both the Tangled Web members now. And, and, you know, it's just cleaning up ship, getting rid of these uh, these minions along the way. But again, with Ultron's abilities, um, things go pretty self here. At this point, then, uh, it's pretty much a good attempt. But, uh, you know, we have to reserve our energy now, knowing that this is going to be uh, a, res a resumption of another attack. Now prepare yourselves guys, this is attack number 5 and it actually does turn out to be uh, my my best attack in all the attempts so um, this is going to be quite a long time. So we finally start things off here again now with both the Tangle Web members. We know Ultron has finally got to be dealt with. You know he's been pretty much here since the first wave uh, but we let him be just because of the fact that it takes a lot of cooldowns for his abilities but now it's finally the time we've decided here um, you know enough is enough we got to take him down. And obviously having his minions, um, you know, build up energy as well as his devastating ultimate has been a hindrance on us. So we go ahead, we stun him from the beginning here. And as you can see, I'm just buying my time trying to spread negatives um, as well as being able to scale damage. But we want to reduce his HP because with me having baby apocalypse, uh, he just doesn't do enough damage um, compared to the to the big uh, fully upgraded one. So that's why we try to reduce his HP as much as possible. Uh, and once we land the ultimate, it is going to be a one shot on him. And as you can see, I'm just trying to stun and prevent him from moving, uh, which is ideally what you should be focusing on if you have also a smaller um, baby apocalypse like myself, uh, being able to use that and we get him to the HP level that we want as well. Loving the, the bleeds that we get from Nemesis because just look at how much damage he's doing. The bleeds, the scale HP, super, super big here, guys. So looking really, really good here. Um, even though Ultron has the revive, it's not going to be a big deal. We we'll let you land the ultimate on him. And as you can see here, uh, that's exactly what we do. He's finally out of the picture. And um, we're, you know, at this point, if you're left with these four characters, 
uh, with Kingpin, uh, Doc Ock, Tanya, and Moonstone, they're really not going to be an issue for us. We can pretty much take our time slowly taking down each and every one of them uh, because it, you do actually need to do a full clear before the, the last and final wave does spawn. So uh, only thing to be mindful of is obviously watch out for Doc Ock's ultimate. He flips everything. So you kind of want to watch out when he does use that ability. But um, other than that, um, pretty straightforward wave to be honest. Fast forwarding to save you guys a bit of time, I decided to actually opt to take down Doc Ock and then followed by Moonstone. And that just leaves us here with the Kingpin as well as Titania. So I think Titania is a good one to leave because she doesn't really do a lot of damage to be honest. Um, she was more of a supportive role uh, and, and being able to support, especially with crowd controlling aspects. So uh, taking down Kingpin as well, at least gets rid of his minions and so forth. But I think Doc Ock and him would have been a good target to take down. And like I said, they're gonna have an issue taking down your team because these guys just don't have enough damage here. And at this point, hopefully you've saved up enough energy as well, building up to it. And as you can see, uh, thankfully, all of our guys have our full energy now. And then finally cleaning up, uh, you are going to see the last and final wave here. So big problem point here, obviously. Uh, we see a lot of damage dealers. Another Ultron. Kang's actually in this mix, and as well as Taskmaster. So, uh, you know, start things off, right? We have all full energy with Apocalypse. We're going to activate everything. Um, all the AoE attacks that we got. Uh, defense up just for some protection. Uh, regenerating everyone's abilities as well, but uh, we're, you know we're going to be using the Apocalypse Ultimate right away, and I highly recommend Kang, just give us his damage, you can also turn Rewind us, as you can see, not the chance to finish him off, because he was 100% um, for HP to begin with, but we're going to go ahead, we're going to stun him, uh, so that way uh, we do slow him down a little bit, but yeah, this is a, this can be a very, very dangerous wave if you guys aren't ready, because there's just a huge multitude of opponents that we're up against, and Taskmaster's Ultimate usually can blind, Doc Ock can flip, pause us, so I mean, uh, it's just a boatload of stuff, honestly. So at this point now, thankfully, um, no blind was on my nemesis. So activating the ultimate, huge, huge amount of damage. And this is why I love him in Dark Dimension, just the amount he scales. And he can also help uh, bypass the heal block as well. So you can see, do some do work, really, really good work. Finally taking down Kang. And now we can focus on other damage dealers. You know, I would share the dps across the border but as you can see the moment ultron uses ultimate um pretty much dictates for me that this is probably going to be one more attack that's needed as you can see so if 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 uh ultron actually lands on you know a tankier character like your apocalypse you might be all right but for me i saw that and i was thinking uh oh uh we might be in conservative mode now at this point because especially with captain carter being down she's the revive for captain america so at this point then um we're just gonna let these guys try to use their abilities uh, as you can see they were kind of banking on all this energy right um especially with us being focused on kang that is probably going to be the consequence so um i mean you can go ahead and use as many abilities as you want with apocalypse because it's going to reset after he goes down they made short work of us here and you know it was a good shot at least we were able to take down kang but we know we're going to need probably one more attack and that's exactly what we're going to do here but very meaningful progress at least uh in this really strong attack five so personally guys i recommend just taking down and stunning and slowing down titania just because uh you know she can do some decent damage but i mean um her crowd controlling is kind of what i'm more worried about so we were able to at least uh slow her down a bit but again kind of similar to what we saw with an earlier wave uh ultron is just really really problematic he's really honestly the linchpin here of keeping all this uh these teams and synergies together so we know he's gonna be a problem to begin with already might as well at least focus him do as much damage as we can uh so that way apocalypse is actually gonna be able to finish him off as well and then after that you can take a look here right you know um rhino taskmaster um the the guard as well as kingpin they're not going to be doing a lot of damage anyways to us but we also want to be mindful of the fact that we want to leave tankier enemies so that way uh, we are saving up energy in preparation for obviously the next node or worst case uh if apocalypse dies at least uh, during this last final attempt uh, you know no big deal there so um i think using apocalypse ultimate right after the taunt is going to be the most preferred because um it took me a little bit of time to time that with rng but when he does use it it's a good time to utilize it so that way everything's flipped um they have trauma and then we can actually go ahead and focus now on ultron because we know that apocalypse ult is coming and he's going to take him out so that's what i would highly recommend guys at this point um captain america is good for just spreading vulnerables with his uh basic attack offense down so forth so I really like that aspect there you might find that with doc ock he's going to be providing some regen and support not a big deal honestly because like i said i just don't have a lot of damage um once they take away ultron and we already took we already took care of kang in the initial uh attack for this right so boom ultron goes down and now we're in a really really good spot because um a lot of these enemies don't do a lot of damage which is absolutely amazing for us 
now we are in full preparation mode uh, for the next node. So I'd recommend just taking down the damage dealers like Taskmaster as well. Uh, Rhino could be super annoying with the, the, the taunts, but you know, they're both already pretty weak and we know there's only five enemies left here, uh, including them. So uh, very, very straightforward guys. If you're, um, if you're, you know, ending this wave with these characters, they're not gonna be an issue because there's not really anybody on their side that can one shot or, or do some significant sizable damage to us unless you're not uh, leveled up or, or have high reds on your characters. So I actually go ahead, I clean up that right side there. Uh, and then I think I think Kingpin's a good one to take down because like I said, he, he can summon minions, which can be frustrating. And then leaving Titania and Doc Ock is a really good mix because like I said, they both don't do a lot of damage. Only thing is watch out for Doc Ock because he's quite tanky. And again, he has support. He can summon a shocker that gives him more energy. So that's the one thing to be mindful of. You know, don't be afraid to use some stuns to slow down uh, Titania and Doc Ock just because like I said, um, if we have all, most of their abilities ready to go and Captain America's uh, special to grant energy, uh, it's going to be, you know, setting up for the perfect stage here, especially in the next attempt. Um, definitely by no means do not use any Apocalypse abilities because you should be ending up in a really good spot where all the abilities and energy should be ready to go uh, for the next node. So Doc Ock actually ended up being my uh, my last enemy that I decided against. And uh, man, my goodness, he was actually pretty tanky, especially if you're just using basic abilities. Uh, Nemesis is probably going to be the one that does the most work. But like, again, uh, I wasn't trying to use any of my... Uh, my abilities just because I wanted to be fully ready to go. And as you can see, we're pretty much at full HP here. So uh, there you guys have it. Um, finally, nodes four, excuse me, uh, the first node to global being node three is completed and we're ready to go here for the next node. But yeah, it's super, super big. I heard mission four is pretty brutal as well. Same with mission five, but um, here, let me show you at least guys the history. As you can see, um, I, if you recall, like the first couple of attacks was really, really good. Uh, in terms of just setting up, like uh, we took down initially some key damage dealers and just getting them out of the way. But now uh, it was really attack five and attack six that brought us to the finish line, especially taking down the Kang and having that really good continuity. You know, we took down a lot of the, the threats to us in the beginning, and that's really what set up the stage for us. Yeah, so I'm excited to show you guys the next node once I attempt it. But as per usual, when I'm done the node, I like checking where I'm re uh, recorded in terms of the leaderboard. Fortunately, it fell quite a bit down. So as you can see, 938, just because I was saving up and trying to get mats uh, to enter global. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, still a huge monumental thing. And keep in mind, I am free to play and all these resources have just been strategic management. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. Thank you as always. I appreciate you guys following along. I'll keep you guys up to date with my progression. Thank you. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.